hello everyone hope you are doing great and staying safe so in today's video we are going to see about the project which I have developed during the semester academics and if you are interested please keep continue watching up to the very end and without much delay we'll get into the video this is the demo video of our project and our project title is iot based safety gadget for child safety monitoring and notification so Basically, uh, our project, uh, we need to set an uh, geofence and uh, for a certain uh, radius, like we need to set a latitude and longitude. And if the child crosses that latitude and longitude, that means if the child crosses that geofence, a notification alert will be sent to the uh, respective parents or guardian. So this is the overview of our project. So let's get into the uh, demo session of our, uh, uh, how our project is working. So let's get into that. So this is the Python code we have implemented here and we are also importing uh, certain modules and the WIOTP.STK application, this one is for uh, connecting with the IBM IoT Watson platform and Twilio is basically used for sending the SMS um, SMS alert for that purpose we are using that one and here we are giving all those uh, device details in the uh, which we have created in the IBM IoT Watson platform and here we are connecting the IBM Watson platform and we are taking the two uh, location one is the in area location and the other one is out area location and if the child crosses the in area location um, that means if the child crosses this latitude and longitude means the alert needs to be sent to the respective parents and or a guardian. So for uh, sending the SMS purpose, we are using these conditions. So, and um, yeah, here we are uh, sending the message to the uh, parents or guardian. So yeah, that's all about the code. And uh, now let's see how our project is running. Let me run this code. So here we can see that uh, we are getting the message has successfully connected, connected successfully. So which means uh, um, our data is started sending to the IBM IoT Watson platform. So we'll see that here. Yeah, in recent events. Yeah, we are getting the uh, um, details of child name, the latitude and longitude of, uh, uh, of the child. We are getting in the... Uh, IBM IoT Watson platform and we are sending the out area location here. So for in area location, there will be no alert or uh, no SMS will be sent. So for only the out area location, then if the child crosses means only we need to send, we need to receive the uh, SMS alert. So I'm just uh, running now with the out area location. So we are receiving the data and um, yeah, and we are also receiving uh, the data to the Node-RED node -red also. So let me stop this one because it, it will be continuously sending. Okay, so here uh, we are using the IBM uh, IoT node for getting uh, data from the IBM Watson platform. And uh, here we are setting the geofence. So I've already set the uh, geofence uh, um, for a particular radius. Yeah, so I have set the geofence here. Um, and also have set as um, using the switch condition, like if uh, one is for false, another one is for true. That means if the condition is false, uh, if the child is not within the range means, it needs to uh, send a pop-up alert. We can see that here. Yeah, we can see that here. And also our data needs to be sent to the cloud. So we'll see that one too. So this is the database I've created for our project. So yeah, we can see here uh, that our data gets stored in the uh, database, like time, the exact uh, latitude, longitude, and the exit. So our data also successfully uh, getting into the uh, uh, database. So, and we are also receiving uh, data in the Node-RED too. So, and the last one is for true condition. That means uh, if the child within the node, there is nothing needs to be happen. Only uh, the alert will be sent if the child crosses the geofence. And uh, uh, let me show that uh, uh, alert message too. And yeah, I've also created here uh, uh, application. So here we can, our child can able to see, uh, sorry, our parents can able to see the child's location. So I've created uh, using the MIT uh, app inventor. So I'll, uh, uh, let me show that one too. So this is the alert message we have received uh, whenever the child crosses the geofence 
um, so this is the final output of our project and also uh, the uh, our parents can able to see the exact uh, location of our child whenever they want using this application this is the part of our uh, project we are we are also created an application so if the child clicks if the parents clicks here uh, they can able to see the exact location of their uh, child so yeah so they can able to see the latitude and longitude of the child and uh, let me just change the uh, coordinates and uh, check yeah i have changed in my code and uh, if i run the code it also reflected here the coordinates will be uh, changed here so let me see that one so yeah we can see that uh, the coordinates are changed and uh, this is the out area location and we are also receiving the uh, alert message so this is the final output of our project so that's all for today thank you very much for watching and um, I'll catch you with another video. So if you like the video, please click on the thumbs up and leave your comments below. Um, so yeah, bye bye. Have a great day. Take care.